Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a variety haul for you. Um, I have some products that were sent to me for um, PR through Octoly. Also, I have an order from Hot Look and also my Beautylish Lucky Bag that I'll be showing you today. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first products that I'm going to start with are going to be um, my PR products. And I did receive these through Octoly and um, for review purposes. And also I want to let you know that um, Octoly does not require me to do a positive review. Um, also, I'm not getting paid. I just received the products at no charge and I get to give my full disclosure as far as my review, um, whether it's good or bad and um, they don't care. Uh, only requirement is that I do the review within a certain amount of time um, that I put the links in the description box for the items. So every item that I received for um, PR will be linked in the description box and um, that I put it up here on YouTube to show you guys. So anyway, um, there's a lot of products on Octoly that I don't apply for. You do have to apply for them and the companies have to select you in order to get the product because um, there's a lot of products that I'm just not interested in and I don't think that you guys would be interested in them either. And I don't want to get, just keep getting stuff just to be getting it. You know what I mean? So products that I was really truly interesting, interested and trying is what I apply for. So the first thing, um, if you would have seen my Ulta haul, I was talking about how I've been looking for a new setting spray to replace the Urban Decay um, setting spray since they have changed the formula. So Ofra was, um, I keep forgetting to put this over here on this side. Ofra was one of the products that was available for me to apply for, and this is the Makeup Fixer and it is a setting spray. And one of the things that I liked about this setting spray, well, there's there's a couple things. One is, is there's no alcohol in it. So it's an alcohol-free um, setting spray, which is very important for someone with dry skin. So I don't get a, a drying agent sp um, spritzed on my face. Um, this is around $20, which is a pretty reasonable price for a setting spray, especially considering the size of it. Gosh, what, how is the ounces on here? I don't know. It's a pretty good, decent size um, bottle, which you can see that. Mm, does it tell me? Oh, it's eight fluid ounces, 240 mil. Um, so that is that. It has a very fine mist to it also. That's very important with a setting spray because you don't want something that's just going to power drive that setting spray on your face and then you end up with blotches on your uh, makeup and this is a really fine mist that you just kind of spritz over and works as well as any other setting spray that I have tried um, if not better um, it has aloe vera it has chamomile flower extract in it vitamin E um, so it's going to help to protect the skin from environmental damage um, has water, aloe, aloe leaf juice is the second ingredient in this product. So it does have a little bit of aloe juice in it, which is really good for the skin. So I do recommend this. And um, like I said, the link for this will be in the description box and give that a try. The next product that I have I'm going to be sharing with you is from the um, skincare line called Saturday Skin and you can purchase this at Sephora and this product here is exclusively at Sephora and it is the Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. That's the box for it and here is the tube. This will run you around $28 and it's just one of those um, scrubs that you put on clean damp skin and you rub it around and as you're rubbing around the um, scrub it pulls and picks up the dead skin cells that are on the top layer of your skin and just kind of helps pull all that off and then help to reveal brighter and clearer skin. Um, it is has natural enzymes and peptides in it that work to um, gently do away with the impurities um, 
let me show you the texture of it. It's just a little white cream and you just rub it. It does have a little bit of a granular um, feel to it and a cream and you just keep rubbing it around the skin until it kind of balls up and um, as it gets the skin it will start balling up and then you just rinse it off. You can do it a couple times a week. It's very gentle. It's not harsh at all. I've used it a couple of times and I really do like it. Um, I don't know if you can see all that icky stuff on my hand right there from where I've rubbed it that dead skin which part of it yes is the product balling up itself but it also does have the dead skin cells in there because after you get done with it and you rinse it your face is very smooth so it is a very good um, gentle exfoliator um, if you have sensitive skin dry skin acne prone skin I think this would work for just about anybody's types of skin um, Saturday skin brand is a very good brand and um, I have the sheet mask this was not sent to me this I purchased myself I've talked about the sheet mask a lot of times I also have their um, spray essence which I really do like this was sent to me from Autoly the last time and I I really do like this too as a spray essence they also sent with the package this cutest little rubber ducky ever little pink rubber ducky this doesn't have anything to do with how the product works but it's called Saturday skin and I had my box of my products here sitting on my my little desk my husband he always comes in here and likes to harass me so I'm getting ready for work every morning telling me to hurry basically anyway he collects rubber duckies and he's seen this he's like are you holding out on me he's like how come I don't have this rubber ducky in my collection and it's kind of funny because my husband is a big burly macho masculine redneck guy <laughs> and he loves bubble baths and he likes to collect rubber duckies. So I told him he couldn't have this rubber ducky until um, after I did this video. So he'll be excited that that's gonna be sitting out in his collection. I'll have to take a picture of his rubber duckies and insert it at this point. So hopefully I don't forget to do that. I cannot get this scrub stuff off. <laughs> it is like stuck. Let me rub it off on my pants. The next product I have is from Skin Diva, and this is a vitamin C serum that was sent to me and here is what the bottle looks like and this is a 20 percent vitamin c plus e it has ferulic acid in it and um, it's supposed to be a little bit more stable than a regular vitamin c serum so this they're telling me will um, stay good and fresh for about three months once it's been opened it is a serum type texture and um, it's a very thin texture, but almost like an, a little bit of an oil feel to it, but not as much as the vitamin C serum that The Ordinary has. So I like this one better than the Ordinary one that I had purchased because that one has a little bit too much of an oily feel to it. But anyway, this is supposed to, this is around $25 and in the um, the verbiage that was sent to me they talk about how this is supposed to be um, just as effective and very similar to the SkinCeuticals vitamin C that runs for $162. Um, I don't know about those claims because I've never used the SkinCeuticals vitamin C but um, so far I have been enjoying using this. It has not felt harsh. There's no stinging sensation with this. Um, I haven't noticed any dry patches by using this or any um, irritation. It's just a very mild um, vitamin C. I haven't noticed any um, results from it yet, but I've only been using it for about 10 days. So anyway, um, I think with a product like this, you're really not going to notice any difference until you get at least a good way through the bottle. So, but I did receive that from the Skin Diva line. The next product that I have that I received from Octoly is the um, Patchology Milk 
peel the five minute flash mask. Um, this is a mask that you can put onto your face and within five minutes you're supposed to, the product is supposed to work. It has lactic acid in it. It has coconut milk and soy milk in it for um, soothing the skin. You can leave it on for longer than the five minutes if you like. I choose to leave my mask on for at least 20 minutes. Um, I did use one the other night and it does have a very milky um, serum in there. It does have a little bit of a coconut smell to it and I really I really did like this. This is the first time I've used the Patchology um, brand and I was very impressed with the um, the product itself. Um, the only thing is it's about $30 for a box of four I do believe is what this was. Yes, four masks. So it is a little bit on the pricey side as far as sheet mask goes, but as far as using this as a treatment mask, maybe once a week or um, a couple times a week, can't go wrong with that. Um, it was very nice. I very much enjoyed that. Did not have any issues with any irritation. Um, I felt like the serum or the essence was not runny but it wasn't too thick, um, there was no irritation, there was no stinging of the eyes, the mask itself, the sheet mask itself fit very nice onto the face. No, no complaints um, other than the price on that one. And there will be a, for this product, there will be a promo code in the description box for 20% off um, your order through, through that link, so. So you can save a little bit of money if you like. Okay, the next um, products I'm going to show you are the products that I ordered from Hope Look, um, probably like three weeks ago. They had um, Elizabeth and Jane's perfumes on there, and they had a couple of sets that I wanted to try, and I got it in the white, and then I also got it in the black, and these were a, let's see, it shows here inside. 80, 100, no wait, $95 value, normally $70, and I think they were on Holic for like $40, but anyway, it's the perfume and the oil, and that was the main reason why I wanted to get it, because I wanted to try the oil, and then it has a one ounce perfume, no, a 1.4 ounce perfume in there so and I the both of them are the same as far as the black and the white the kit I really wish they would have had the bourbon in this but they didn't have anything in the bourbon on Hope Look so maybe next time because the bourbon is actually <clears throat> my favorite my absolute favorite okay and then I also got the candles to match so I'm going to be burning these this spring and summer, and they are absolutely beautiful. I seen, after I ordered them, I actually seen them at a Nordstrom Rack. So I got to actually look at it and smell it. But look at the container, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna put this in my husband's um, <clears throat> bathroom. So, oh, it smells so good, so good. Cannot wait to burn those. I might, you know, I might burn those today. That black one. <clears throat> I have a frog. <clears throat> and I can't get it out. <clears throat> Ew, yeah, here's the white. The white one looks just like that, just in a white jar. Oh, that smells so good. It's so good. <clears throat> the white one is not as um okay the next products that i'm going to be showing you is what i received in my beautylish lucky bag the lucky bag or grab bag is something that beautylish does every year well i don't know about every year um, this is the third year that i've participated in it but it's basically for 75 dollars it's a grab bag of cosmetics you don't know what you're getting um each box doesn't actually come in a bag, but each box is valued at at least $150. Um, it's $75 plus the taxes, which I think makes it around $82. So I thought I would show you what I received in my box. And I actually have 
two boxes. And the reason why I have two boxes is because when I ordered it the first time, I never received any kind of confirmation saying that my order went through. And so the next day, they sent out an email saying that there was still some of the lucky bags left if you would like to purchase one. So I never received, you know, confirmation saying that my order from the day before I went through. So I ordered this one. And then the following day, I received a message from Beautylish saying that they failed to send me a confirmation on the first box and did I still want it? And I'm like, yes, I still want it. So I ended up with two boxes, but anyway. So let me show you what is in my first box. I've already opened it and looked at it. I couldn't wait to do a video. So um, the first thing I have is an Oribe dry texturizing spray. Um, this is just a travel size. This is valued at $22. Not that excited about it. Um, this little guy I was excited to get. This is a nail polish from Smith & Colt. And it is in the color um, Dark Like Me. Beautiful, beautiful color. I can't wait to put this on my toenails this um, spring. I'm letting my toenails and my nails, if you've probably noticed I haven't had anything on my nails giving them a break from having pedicures and acrylics and everything put on it. Um, there was also in there, in this box, a sheet mask from Sawaso that I've already used. So I don't have that to show you, but it's valued at $13 for the one sheet mask. Um, there is a Wayne Goss um, eyeshadow brush. This is the number 17, which is a blending brush and love Wayne Goss brushes so even though I have this already that's okay I love having backups this is around $28 and then this next product I got um, was the want want <laughs> product in my box not that the product itself is bad um, it's actually pretty nice I have it on as my highlighter today it's just the person that made it and the collaboration that it was with are two people that I don't really care for. I don't want to support. But anyway, I got it. But it's this Jeffree Star and Manny MUA um, Skin Frost in Uranus. That was in my box. This is around $28, $30, I think. It's the price range, $35, something like that. But that's what it looks like. Um, it's a giant highlighter too, but um, yeah, they could have put anything in there except this and I would have been happy. But anyway, it is what it is. I mean, it's a, it's a grab bag. You don't know what you're getting. So that was that. But the star of my box was this guy here from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's the instant look in a palette um, in the color... I don't know what color this is. Smoky Eye Beauty, is that what it's called? But anyway, this retails for $75. So this and the nail polish covered um, the cost of my bag. Actually, no, this and the, the mask covered the cost of my bag. So everything else was free, basically. But this is what it looks like. And I have been wearing this for about three or four days and these two right here are supposed to be blushes but they're a little bit too light for blush if I wear them as a blush I just rub my brush across the two and mix them but I've been using them for eyeshadows too and it makes a really pretty eye look so that was what was in my first lucky box from Beautylish and then in my next lucky box um it was a little wah wah. I wasn't too impressed with it. But anyway, the first thing was from The Ordinary, and this is the High Adherence Silicone Primer, which I do not like. I had one in my empties not too long ago that I hadn't finished. But I'm going to give it to my dollar. My dollar. <clears throat> my daughter, she might like it. But this runs around $6. And then in here also was a. <coughs> Golly, jeez. A Natasha Denona lipstick and when I first seen it I was really excited because 
I wanted to try it. But this is in the color, um, it's rosy something, and it's a matte. And I do have it on. But, <clears throat> jeepers, I have it on over a lip liner, a red lip liner, and then I have a gloss on top of it. And you're going to see why when you see this color. Um, it is a very, very, very nude, nude color that I don't care for at all. And when I swatch it on my hand, it's a really pretty, like, pink. <clears throat> but when I put it on my lips, it's, it washes them out like you would not believe. It's not pretty at all, <laughs> to say the least. So that's why I have to put it on with a, um, a lip liner and then a, a um, lip gloss. And that's just too much work <laughs> for me. But these were um, $24. So that was in there. And then the next product that I have in here was, I was real excited when I first seen it, and it's a Charlotte Tilbury um, eye, Eyes to Memorize um, Eye Cream Shadow, but it's in the color Betty, and I already have that color. Aww. It would have been any other color besides Betty, um, but it's very, very pretty, very pretty. I'm not going to swatch it because I'm probably going to sell this because, like I said, I already have that and I don't, I don't need another one. And then the next thing that was in my box is a cleanser from Orbe. I didn't even know that Orbe even made a cleanser. I had to double check to make sure this was a face cleanser because it just says Daily Ritual Cream face cleanser and it is a cleanser and it runs around what was the price of this I don't remember was it $53 I think it was it was somewhere somewhere around there so I got that <clears throat> mm, I don't know the packaging on it though is really pretty I mean look at this um, lid right here isn't that pretty so but anyway I got that and then I also got the, and I took these out of the box already. Because I wasn't going to do the video on this, but I did. Anyway, um, it was the little set of Jouer um, highlighters. And I was excited to get these because I had seen these in some other people's um, unboxings. And I was hoping I would get these, so... I was like, yay, I got that. That was the first thing I seen in my box. They're really pretty. This one right here is the one I was most excited about because that's going to look really pretty on my skin tone. That's really a really pretty highlight right there. Super pretty. So that was in my box. There was also a Wayne Goss brush. And um, that... The um, Orbe cleanser wasn't the $53. This was the $50 product. This was $53, $58, but it's the number 12 um, Wayne Goss brush. So the Orbe cleanser, I think, was around $30. I looked up all the prices, but I don't remember. And then the last thing I had in here, and if you would have watched my Ulta haul, you would have seen it. It is from Becca, and it's the... Um, the eyeshadow palette, the Prees um, Ski Glow eyeshadow palette that I just hauled. It's <laughs> like, oh no. I'm like, I just bought that. But, um, I thought there for a minute that it had been used, but I guess not. But there it is. I'm not going to swatch it because I still have my receipt from the one that I purchased at Ulta. And whether this is right or wrong, I'm going to take this back. And um, here's my bag and my receipt from Ulta. And I'm going to get my money back on that because I don't need two of them. And I just purchased it. So I'm going to take the brand new one back to Ulta so it can be um, so it can be resold. And um, if you're wondering why I'm smirking, um, in the news, I guess there's been a big controversy about Ulta has been caught or called out for... Um, 
putting returned cosmetics that has been used um, back out on the shelf for sale. So, anyway, we'll see what they do with that one. I mean, it's brand new. It has, I didn't even swatch it, but I don't know. They may or may not put it back out. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so that is it for this big haul. This was long. Hope that you have enjoyed. Um, don't forget to subscribe and also to click on the um, bell icon so that you're notified of all future videos. I do post on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays for the most part. And um, I do a little bit of hauls, um, skincare reviews, luxury, um, reading. Gosh, I just do a little bit of everything. Some lifestyle. I think I think my camera cut me off as I was telling you guys goodbye. So um, I hope that you have enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.